Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be on this makeup look here. This is a Valentine's Day tutorial. It's definitely not pink, but it's on the smoldering edgy side. So if you want to do something uh, unorthodox for Valentine's Day, then this is it. It's nice and subtle. I love this brown smoky because you can wear it during the day. So yeah, if you want to see how to get this look, then please keep watching. Okay, so let's get started. I'm going to start off by moisturizing my lips with this Maybelline Baby Lips. And then I'm going to move on to my Pond's Serum. And I'm just going to use that to moisturize my eyelids. Just so that the primer, eyeshadow primer goes on way smoother. Then I'm going to use this LA Girl Pro Primer. It's just like an eyeshadow primer. This is in like a skin tone nudie color. It does come in white as well. Now I'm just using my beauty blender to blend that out and then I'm going to just set that with my um, banana powder by Anastasia Beverly Hills. I'm going to be using my Morphe 350 palette today and the first color I'm going to go into is that yellowy, um, whitey yellow undertone color. It's just so that the blending process is way easier. Then I'm going to use the shade that's darker just slightly. It's got more of a peachy feel to it based on the yellow family. And then I'm going to use that peach color and it's just peach. And this is going to create a nice gradient, plus make the blending process much easier. And now I'm going to go in with that orange shade at the top. This really gives a nice gradient effect and it just looks so nice going from an orange to like a brown. So that looks really pretty. And then in this color is more of a guavery shade. And I'm just going to use that in the crease and blend it slightly upwards but not past the orange. Now I'm going in with this first brown shade. It's a brown with a slightly red undertone. I'm just going to apply that in the crease. Not blending it any higher than the crease. And then I'm taking that main shade, which is the star of the show. Um, it's just the darkest brown in the palette. And I'm just going to put that in the crease as well as all over the lid. And you really want to pack this color on to get the most pigment out of it you want to make it as intense as you want it to be so it's definitely a preference thing then I go in with a different blending brush and I just blend out the harsh lines and maybe add a little bit more orange to help you and then you pack some more brown on and you blend it out again it's just like a back and forth process until you're satisfied with the pigmentation <laughs> Now I'm taking my Pond's Flawless Radiance Serum um, Even Tone Anti-Spot Serum. I'm just going to moisturize my face with that. Now I'm applying tape to the outer edges of my eyes so I can do my winged liner. This is how I prefer to do my winged liner nowadays. It's just less hassle and it really does guide you to where you need to put it and then if you need to clean it up just wipe the edges which is great it's so easy so convenient so i just love doing it like this especially if i'm in a hurry but i didn't fast forward this bit so that you could see that it does take a lot of patience and you just need to be calm and keep filling it out until you're satisfied with how it looks then you peel the tape off and it looks perfect and you do a little dance because you're just so excited now i'm going to apply some more of my pond's flawless radiance serum yeah i like my flawless radiance now i'm going in my nivea <laughs> now i'm going in my nivea post shade balm this is a great primer because it has glycerin in it and glycerin makes your makeup last the entire day so you put that on and wait for it to get a little dry and then I'm going to apply two foundations today. I'm going to mix them together a little bit of my L'Oreal Infallible 24 hour foundation which is in the color 33, uh, 330 Hazelnut. 
and then some of my Rimmel uh, 25 hour foundation and this one is in the color warm caramel the Rimmel one got a pink undertone which it makes me look kind of darker but the L'Oreal one has a yellow undertone which is perfect for me so mixing them together really does give me like my perfect foundation but they're both really nice full coverage and yeah you can use whatever you want it's definitely optional now I'm taking my LA Girl Pro Concealer in the color Almond yes I recently picked it up I love this one um, yeah so I'm just gonna apply that underneath my eyes uh, my forehead the bridge of my nose my cupid's bow and my chin and I'm going to blend that out with my Real Technique sponge. Now I'm going to take my Yodley Absolute Translucent powder and I'm going to set my under eye concealer as well as everywhere else that we applied the concealer this really does help your makeup to look absolutely flawless the entire day it soaks up all the oil that would be in those spots making sure that you look absolutely photoshopped the entire day which is amazing and I'm going to put that on my forehead, my, the bridge of my nose, my cupid's bow, as well as my chin. These are spots that tend to become oily during the day, so this really does help tame that oil. And that laughter is from Joe Santagato. Um, I sent my sister one of these videos and she was dying in the background, so I was just laughing because I know the video already. Now I'm taking my LA Girl Pro Concealer in the shade Dark Cocoa and I'm just putting that in the hollows of my face. I will leave his YouTube channel link down below if you are interested in watching his videos and having the biggest laugh of your life. But uh, fair warning, he does swear quite a lot. Now I'm just blending that concealer in with my beauty blender and now I'm taking this LA Girl Glam Blush Palette and I'm using the bronzer in the palette just to set the concealer where I contour my face and maybe just to bring it forward a little more, deepen up the color slightly. Now I'm taking my Studio Fix powder, this is in the color NC45 and I'm taking that on the fluffy Real Techniques brush. This is a powder brush and I'm just going to dust that all over my face. And now I'm going to fill in my brows. I didn't speak fast this moment, but I just show you it's really, you just create light flicks wherever you feel your brow hairs go sparse. Or if you want to shape them, you just create a really defined line at the bottom and then at the top and then just fill in the inner corner. I mean the inner section of your eyebrow and then feather it in the front slightly so that the hairs look as natural as possible as what we go for and then we just brush them out with the spoolie if they're looking too intense and just it just gives them an all-around natural effect. Now I'm taking this blush by Essence. This is called Life's a Cherry and this is one of their silk touch brushes and I'm just using that on I'm just uh, applying this with a Real Techniques paper blush brush. This brush for blush is insane. I love it. And I like to put my blush towards the um, ears just to give my face a more pulled back look, making it less round and making it look slimmed down. Now I'm taking that color that we applied all of our eyelids and I'm going to use that in the lower lash line um just really keeping it really tight to the lash line and then i'm gonna buff out that brown with some of the orange that's in the crease just to give it that all around complete eye look because it looks nice if the eyes connect almost now i'm taking that white color at the top i don't know i was kind of confused there and i eventually chose the white color at the top and you use this as your inner corner highlight it really does make the look pop a lot more giving it a really nice touch to it and now I'm taking my 
MAC highlighter in the color Global Glow and I'm just going to apply that to the highest points of my cheekbone, my brow bone uh, slightly and I'm going to also apply that on the bridge of my nose, the little point at the end of my nose and my cheek as well. Now I'm going to take my L'Oreal Telescopic Pulse Lash Mascara. I'm just going to give my lashes a thin coat of mascara because I am going to be applying full C. Now just to let that mascara dry, I'm going to take my Oligo Flat Matte Look Pigment. And this one is in the color... Um, dreamy. Oh, wow. That was bad. This one's in the color Dreamy and I'm just going to apply a brown liner all over my lips and then apply this one in the middle, this liquid lipstick in the middle and then I blend it out with my finger, really sure it out and connect those two lip products just to give it a more seamless effect. They really do like, they, it looks like I have nothing on. Now I'm taking my absolute favorite lashes, these are the Isla number 17. 117 and they're the texture ones and they kind of have a flick at the end I'm not sure why I didn't show you but they are absolutely stunning you can google them they are the Isla 117 texture lashes now I'm taking this Rimmel no Rimmel yes Rimmel Scandal eyeliner and I'm just gonna line the lashes to make them look as natural as possible Now, going back in with my mascara and just giving my lower lashes a nice coat, and they really do extend the lashes so much. Now, I'm going in with some Fix Plus just to lock in all the makeup and uh, taking a Q tip to clean up underneath my lashes. And that is the end of the video. I really hope you guys like it. Um, if you did, please give it a thumbs up as well as subscribe. I will have a pinky tutorial coming your way. Don't forget to come hang out with me on Instagram, Twitter, Tumblr, We Harder, Pinterest, Snapchat. I post a lot on Snapchat. You can see my entire life on Snapchat. And definitely subscribe to get a notification when I post another video. See you in my next video. Bye. Don't let me drown Don't let me drown